Every website should have an internal linking structure, which is basically just a plan for linking pages on a website to other pages on the same website. This is like creating the architectural plan of the website. And the SEO benefit to doing this is that when done correctly, it will help distribute page authority and ranking power throughout the site. These internal links help search engine spiders crawl a website in its entirety, so it is finding pages that may not be linked from elsewhere as well. These links also help keep visitors on a site for longer, which of course can also help with SEO. Now this can sound complex, but it really doesn't have to be hard. We don't need a spreadsheet or anything fancy. We just need to create great content and include helpful links where appropriate. So here are some things that we can do to actually implement this internal linking structure. First, you need to have lots of content and lots of great content. The less content you have, the less internal links you can be creating. So the more and more content you have, the more opportunity you give yourself for internal links and the more that Google can crawl through the different pages and, and distribute that ranking power. Now, whenever you are linking from one page to another, you typically want to do this within the content. So if you have a post, for example, you don't necessarily just want to link randomly at the end. Somewhere within the article, when you find that you're talking about a related topic that you've written about on another post, you want to copy some text, link, and link that specific text to the other page. Again, you want to make sure that it is relevant. If you have a website that is about various topics for whatever reason, don't link to different topics that aren't natural. That wouldn't make sense to your visitors or to search engines. And you want to think about that text that you're actually highlighting and actually going to link. That is called your anchor text. You want to make sure it is natural and you also want to make sure that it's varied. You don't always want to copy the same text and to use the same text for all your internal links. That does not look natural at all. And in fact, you even want to throw in some unoptimized anchor text, which means don't always use your keywords. So just don't overthink this. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Think about what is going to be helpful for your readers and do that. Then that is naturally going to work for search engines. Now also, you don't want to go crazy and start putting links all over the place within every single article that you do. You just want to be reasonable. Now Google, just like with everything else, doesn't give us the exact answer of what reasonable means, since that's all they say. But, you know, if you just throw in maybe three or four links within an article, assuming that you're writing, you know, a thousand or two thousand word post, then that's fine. Of course, the more words that you use, the more opportunity you give yourself for additional internal links. And if you are writing less and less words, you have less opportunity. But those are a few things to keep in mind. So at the site that I'm working on, I'm going to link between some of the related services pages. And as we build content in the form of articles or posts, we can link to services pages and to articles. So this is another reason to build your content so you can have more internal links and help pass your ranking power through different pages. One thing to also keep in mind is that when you create newer pages, Go back and update your older pages. This is going to help give your newer pages a boost as well. So don't always just look at the new page that you're creating and link back to older pages. Go back to the older ones and link to the newer ones as well. So as you begin thinking about your website content plan in general, do keep your internal linking structure in mind.